Okay, so once again, you should be on page 38, 39, and we're gonna read Judy Moody, Mood Martian. I want you to go ahead and circle the title and write title there. This is actually a realistic fiction story, so you can write RF in the corner for your genre. It's a story that could really happen, but somebody still made this up, which is making it a fiction story. I'm gonna get us started, but then you're gonna finish on your own. Who's who in this story? So we have not Moody Judy, Mom, Stink, Dad, Rocky, Frank, Jessica, Amy. And if you notice, we have some headings in the middle of our story, some kind of chapter titles. She, Judy Moody, was in a mood, a sour ball mood, a mad face mood, all because school pictures had come home that day. If Stink came into her room, he would ask to see her school picture. And if he asked to see her school picture, he would see that she had been wearing her I am a girl, hear me roar t-shirt, the same one she wore today. And if he saw her wearing her roar t-shirt and her school pictures, he would also see that she looked like Sasquatch with bird's nest hair in her face and in her eyes. Mom and dad were going to freak. Just once, we'd like to have a nice school picture of our girl, Dad said, had just said this morning. Maybe this will be the year, Mom said, but third grade was no different. So our vocabulary word there, moody. If you're moody, your feeling, feelings change often and quickly. Judy spread out her school pictures on the floor. She looked like a clown in kindergarten, a one-eyed pirate in second grade, Sasquatch in third grade. If only mom and dad would forget about school pictures this year. Fat chance. Maybe Judy could pretend the dog ate them. Too bad the Moody's didn't have a dog. Only Mouse the cat. She could say that an evil school picture bandit erased them from the master computer. Hardly. To make things worse, Rocky had grabbed her Sasquatch picture in class and wouldn't give it back. Then he passed it to Frank, which made Judy yelp and jump up out of her seat instead of doing her math. That's when Mr. Todd said the A word, Antarctica. And I circled that because when I got here, this story has nothing to do with the really cold um, Antarctica. So I was kind of unsure. So I'm kind of monitoring my, and my comprehension and my thinking as I go. The desk in the back of the room where Judy had to go to chill out. Ah, Antarctica's cold, she's going to chill out. I think she just got put in time out. For the third time that day, oh my gosh, she went to time out three times today. Never in the history of Judy had she been to Antarctica that many times in a row. A donut sized, a donut sized sicky spot sat in her stomach just remembering it. That's why she, Judy Moody, was in a mood. A finger knitting, don't think about school pictures, need to be alone mood, as in by herself. So in no stink, as in no stinky little brothers to bug and bother her like a pesky mosquito. Buzz, stink was always in her ear. So pesky means something that's annoying you. So we're gonna stop here. You're going to continue reading until you get to page 56, which is the end of the story. And then you can answer these collaborative discussion questions, and it even tells you what pages to go back and look at in complete sentences.